Hello there and welcome back. I'm going to be running through the Covenant Rank 25 challenges. I have missed games with Little Fate. I'm going to be honest. I really enjoyed Little Fate. I haven't gotten to play one in a while because I've been focusing on the Awoken Cultivate strategies. Um, if you haven't seen those, go check them out. They're, they're really wonky. Uh, so with the Little Fate, I would like to potentially uh, knock out one of these challenges. And the one that I'm eyeing the most is Fragile Collection. Both because Fragile is a really fun mechanic. That, uh, that really makes you rethink the way that you have to play units and kind of like the order in which you have to play them. And then the return on investment and zoom enhance could lead to, I guess, like an overbalancing of the weakness. I think these two together will actually allow you to get really, really strong. So I'm going to take Fragile Collection um, and then we will... I'll just stick with random. I don't really need to... I'll, I'll throw it to fate. We'll just, we'll just take whatever we get. Uh, looks like the Stygian card. So two Ice Tornadoes, Permafrost, Molded is going to be good with Lil Fade because it's always good to have like a guaranteed mold instead of the instead of the randoms that you start with. And then Wicked Blaze is also Reform. So tons of Reform in this deck. Seraph the Patient is avoidable <laughs> or preferred to be avoided, but that's okay. We'll go with Dark Forge. Uh, what can you give me? Okay, so... Eternal Flame basically solves the reform problem. If you don't have reform, Eternal Flame, eh, le, le, le. Eternal Flame solves that by giving you Endless if you don't have reform. We do have a ton of reform, so I actually don't want to go this. I will take Little Icarus. It's probably my favorite upgrade anyway. Um, the only downside is we don't actually have a way to kill you like we normally would. But that's where Fragile comes in, so hopefully I can make this work. Um, Encant abilities triggering an additional time is absurdly strong. This isn't bad either, though, to be fair. And I'm probably not going to be playing that many Encant units, right? It's, it's probably going to be a mostly unit deck, or mostly um, reform unit deck. Actually, it might not be, because I have the spikes boost. Hmm... I think we'll go with the silence. I think um, it, as strong as the encant can be, I think that uh, it might be a better idea to focus on getting Lil Fade like over, um, you know, reformed and killing backliners and whatnot. Enemy use entering with armor 10 is a no. It is very, very difficult to get Lil Fade rolling. Like you can lose the first boss. It's it's incredibly easy to do. So I don't, don't want to do that. Uh, if I play you, you absorb... If I play you, you absorb the, uh, what's it called? The Fragile. So that might be my play here. I also could throw Fade up top. The problem I'm going to run into is I don't have a way to kill Little Fade. Like, I can't, uh, I don't have a, um, like, torches. And I don't have, I have these lances, but I don't have anything that targets Little Fade to be able to, to kill her so that I can reform her and put her somewhere else, which is what you kind of want to do a lot of the times. I think maybe Ice Tornado will drop everybody here. I think we just play Fade, we'll let you die, um, and then we'll just do this. Oh, you're not going to die. <laughs> Oops. I thought that it would kill all three of them, but it doesn't. Uh, Lance is a free 60 gold, 50 gold, so that's pretty easy to play, I think. Uh, Primitive Mold is going to get us back our little Fade. If I play this Steward... You will get the Fragile, which means you'll die to this Disciple, and then a Little Fade's Spike, it's, it's literally just Spike, <laughs> singular, will kill the Swiss Soldier. So I think that's the play. Yeah, there you go. And then, then at least you get one kill, or what, like one Slay trigger, um, so that's kind of nice. And then, do, 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 do. is this a good play? Mm, it's not bad. I would prefer to knock you out somehow. Does, how many spikes does Fate have? Fate has three spikes, which is not enough to kill you, unfortunately. I think I think this is the play. We'll just drop everybody on this floor. Sure, you can you can survive. Hurricanes all around you, and then you're you're just kind of chilling. Uh, reforming a unit with plus ten would be not that pile. This pile would be good for our shiny stew, but I really need a little fade to be around. I think maybe we do. Hmm. Maybe we do a Fragile Steward and then a Reformed Little Fade, and you'll have, what, like 15 health and 2 Burnout or something like that? So we'll do you in the back, and then we'll do you in the front. 
I think it's best if you're in front. How's that? 65? That that's okay. And you're gonna actually you're actually gonna burn out instead of uh, instead of dying. So that's not bad. We'll take 65 damage if we can kind of do that like twice. Like if we can get one more little fade round, one more good little fade round. Okay, so we got her, but she's gonna be fragile. It might have been a bad a better idea just to play Ice Tornado. Yeah, you're literally only gonna do the three damage from your spikes. Uh, that's a bit iffy. It's a bit iffy. And if I play you up top next turn. You'll actually be dazed. So let's play you up top now, and then we'll just get this. Yeah, see, the fragile really changes the way you have to approach units. Okay, this is perfect. So I'm going to reform and get a unit to, to basically absorb the damage. Boom, boom, and then 30. I'm really only doing 30? How is this possible? Uh, attack, dead. Dazed, attack, which is a 30. You'll heal. Attack. Attack, attack. How are you not how are you not dealing way more than 30 damage? Am I insane? What's going on here? Are you you're not burning out either. How are you I don't know. I guess maybe you'll burn out Oh, you're burnout one. I probably should have just reformed. It wouldn't have mattered. It actually wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Well, we're gonna take some damage. Um uh, that's a little fade for you. Honestly, the first floor with a little fade run is like one of the hardest floors. <laughs> she's she's so much more delicate than the others. Because uh, you just start very, very weak, especially with this spikes upgrade. I already have moldeds. I don't need this. I think Entombed Explosive is going to be pretty solid with the Sacrificial as well. Um, don't really want any of these cards, I think. Because like getting an Entombed Explosive in a in a Primitive Mold is basically the same exact thing as a Seelco Crystallis, but for like half as much energy. And then I don't really care about the offering tokens. So let's go with this. I will not take your your units. It'd be really good to get a Legion of Wax with the zoom enhance. That could be really solid. Yeah, and I don't have any units to upgrade anyway, so I don't really want to go here. Uh, let's just take this. If I could get a either a... Okay, neither of you were what I was looking for. A Wickless Tycoon might work. I think, I think you would actually work better than the Lady of the House. So we'll take you... Um, and then we'll go with some sort of upgrades to our damage spells. How's that? That that actually would be really good. Or this. Uh, hit me with the Ice Tornado. We're probably going to play this more often. Especially if we can make it cheaper. Yeah, make that cheap. And then... Is it is it a good idea to purge these guys? So that they're not in my consume pile? They're not consume, in my purge pile? My uh, devour, what's it called? Consume pile? It's not consume. What am I thinking? Reform pile. Like piles that were killed. Uh, da, 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 da. Non boss enemy units enter with spikes means that Fade is just going to die every round no matter what. It's not amazing, uh, but I don't, I don't really need the money. We're going to get it from return investment. I think we can honestly play this safe and then get all the cash we need from return. Plus, we have the tycoon. Okay, don't play him first though. Oh, I almost played you first. You absorb the fragile. You get played. And then let's see if we can have you deal some damage. So no damage, you'll get the kill, and then you will attack. So I need you to attack Will Fade, which is perfect. This is like the perfect scenario. And then Lance just for damage purposes, I guess. Collecta. Easy enough. Um, I think it's a good idea to get back our little fade. Give me the fade. We need to start building burnout on fade because basically what we want to do is get uh, build burnout on you throughout the round, and then at the end we'll put you behind this tycoon or put you behind a tank, and then you can you can deal a ton of damage with your like insane numbers. If I throw you here, you will actually kill this foot soldier. If I throw you here, you will die to the disciple. We could also do some wonky stuff with the steward being fragile. Da, 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 da. If I put you here first, how will this work? I don't actually think that I can kill. I actually don't think that I can kill this disciple. So let's put you um, here. You will kill him in the back, and you'll die. So I can bring you back next turn, and then you are gonna burn out, but you'll at least do 13 damage. 
All right, that's that wasn't ideal, but at least we got five gold from his death. There's a there's a a t tiny little uh, tiny little fee for him to die. Probably best to just play the little fade and not worry about the shiny stew that's in there. If I throw you here, what happens? Uh, you die to the disciple. That's less than ideal. I could also just ice tornado and end this whole floor. Oh, but I want you. I need that collector. I need that cash. I think this is the play. We need we needed that. Uh, and if I play you here, you're gonna deal seven damage to you, which is like not ideal. Um, so I'm gonna play you there, and you're gonna die really early in the next round, but that's okay. That was a bad idea. I forgot that you were a sweep sweep boss. Actually, that was just bad all around. I don't know why I chose to do that. If I could kill you now, that'd be great, but I can't. I do want to get you below 20, but I'm not going to be able to, so I want to keep you below 40. So this will keep you below 40. Our pyre is going to take a lot of damage next turn because of the spikes. So 2, 4, yeah, a lot more extra damage that I didn't really need to take. That was a bit, uh, that was a bit dumb, I'll be honest. Probably some bad decisions made in this setup. Uh, you are super strong, burnout 2, you look good, you'll go in there. Oh, you're going to be fragile! Which means you die immediately. Ah, the fragile units strike again. Yeah, that that was less than ideal. Okay, uh, we might have a problem. Wow, nice of you to show up all of a sudden. How should we play this? I probably should have just ice grenaded. Burnout three. I mean, you're pretty strong. Maybe this is a good play. You'll at least deal some damage. Um, if I could get. The Fade, that'd be good as well. 26 damage, huh? It makes the most sense for you to be... I mean, it doesn't really matter because he's a sweet boss, so we'll just put you there. Uh, you'll burn out. 171. I think we should be able to end it with Ice Tornado next turn. That was a little close. That was a little close. I'd prefer to not have to... <laughs> not have to struggle literally every single round. Gotta love Little Fade. She's getting strong, though. Where it spikes 9. That's not that great, actually. <laughs> it's, it could be better. The goal is just to survive at this point. Molten Encasement might not be a bad idea for tanking the fragile hits as well. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, a lot of the tomb units are going to be really good in this deck. Mollusk Mage, Titan's Gratitude, Ice Trainer, I don't really want any of you guys. Uh, Mollusk Mage might have been okay if I had had a... Like, to be able to play these lances and ice tornadoes a little bit stronger than they normally would be, but I, I just don't think that it's, it's worth the slot. Especially not whenever it's it's going to be one more card that goes into the reform pile. Stygian and Artifact, or Merchant and Remnant? I think Merchant and Remnant might be better. If I can get a... Okay, well I was going to say Wickless Baron or Legion of Wax. Uh, pardon me one second. Okay, uh, Wickless Baron is probably going to be a good set for this because I think oh, there's going to be a lot of deaths and then the Baron combined with the other Harvest, where are you at? With your other Harvest friend, Wickless Tycoon, that could be interesting. I, the problem is you guys take up most of the floor by yourselves, so I'm not going to be able to play like Drafts or with you or anything like that. Or not Drafts, Dregs, Drafts, whatever. Profit Enforcer, you could be really good. Um, to friendly Burnout units though, I shouldn't have... The only burnout units I have are going to be those that come from Primitive Mold. So, uh, I'm leaning Wickless Baron, and then maybe we can find a way to make you strong. Night, like, get you really, really huge. I like this, and then making it cost one. Holdover, holdover in this set's not fantastic. Molded with Holdover, and then making it cost zero would also be good. I think this with one is, is better though. Let's go with this. We'll make you cost uh, one. It's not the best use of my stuff, but it will work. Mm, let's go, let's just do this. We'll make the other one slightly stronger and then we'll leave. All right, uh, concealed caves. I don't know what you could give me that would be good. Honestly, these cards are both really good against Seraph the Patient. No, I take that back. Trap Shoot is really good against Seraph the Patient. 
Yeah, Trap Shoot I think is better because I don't actually think you want to ascend Seraph to the Pyre floor. Maybe you can't. Maybe, it, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it was better to pick the other one, but uh, we'll try to remove Consume from that whenever we can find the chance. Honestly, if you can find a way to deal with Seraph the Patient early in your run, uh, you're gonna have a much better time. Yeah, this is this is not like I would rather not play this on you. We'll we'll save it for a for a time when we really need it. Uh, unfortunately, getting Wicked Blaze right away is kind of bad, but like I can still play it. It's just not gonna do anything for me. If I throw you down, you'll get three kills. Or no, you'll get one kill because they will out damage you. So let's do this this and then this should kill everybody on the floor plus you'll upgrade and you won't take any damage and then that perfect perfect okay so he's he's getting nice and strong he's got like four procs there um i would prefer to reform my fade like super strong now fragile and then you'll attack and then burn out so if I put you here, you will get the kill and then burn out, which is exactly what I want. Uh, I didn't play the Tycoon, that was that was kind of a mistake, but that's okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. This this set is good. Maybe you just go there. We'll just we'll just throw you upstairs. The stealth the stealth kind of works really nicely with Wickless Baron because then he gets the kills without taking any of the damage, which is where you can build him to be a little bit more of an attack based uh, attack based unit. Ice Tornado here could be fine, just to wipe out everything, but I think we stick with the Wicked Blaze. Or the, the Wicked wicked Blaze little fade plan. Alright, you now have enough health to survive two of these guys. So I could throw you there and they both would die to your spikes. But I would rather not make you fragile. So let's get Molten Encasement right there. You'll be fragile, you'll give him fragile. We'll put you there, both of them will die to your spikes, and you will die so I can get you back next turn. Sweet. And then we'll just do that to you. Awesome. So this this strategy's kind of working out. We just it's we're really just mitigating the fragile through the built-in mechanic of the melting remnant wanting a lot of units to die. I mean it's it's kind of I don't know, it's kind of weird, uh, but it works. It is working. I'd rather increase your health and then we'll do prone and mole to get the other one back. We'll throw you there. The weird thing is, I would rather all of these units attack Little Fade to get the spikes damage. Because I can make you deal, I can make you kill two units. Or is it best just to throw you up here? And then you can get the backliner. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Uh, we'll let you kill the backliner. You're gonna stay alive, but at least now you're doing a bunch of damage. And then like whenever you whenever you burn out. When do you burn out? In three turns? Yeah. Whenever you burn out, it might be um, a bit too late, actually. So maybe that was a, a kind of a bad play, but I think we'll be okay. If we could, we could blaze. I'll make this guy super strong. No, don't kill my tycoon. Don't kill the tycoon. Save him. There it is. Uh, We could drop both of these guys, and then we deal a lot of damage to Talos right off the bat. I think that's the play, especially because he's just totally fine down here, all stealthed up. Yeah, there's a good, there's a good 53 damage on you. You like to see it. You love to see it. Wicked Blaze per usual. You will burn out, which means the next turn I'm gonna get to play you. So I'd rather Wicked Blaze uh, to get that back. Finally, the Entomb shows up. Okay, you'll kill him. You will die. And you'll get one hit in. We should be fine. This should be... This should be kind of the end of it. We'll throw you up top. Although, honestly, that was a bad idea. Because we're gonna... With the Melting Remnant, you want to be able to use all three floors for, like, reform shenanigans. So, um, throwing him up there isn't necessarily a good idea. It's kind of like when you have a bunch of endless units in your deck. You don't want to do this. And I always forget. <laughs> Just, like, consistently forget. I The only reason I'm doing this is because I want her to get one more stack like one more kill so if i put you there your spikes will get the kill <laughs> um and then that's just that's just basically the all we can get out of this so there it is plus we get the five gold look at that maximum return on value formless child you're gonna be insane in this deck 
Oh, I didn't even consider you. I like where we're going. I like this. This is looking really good. That was probably one of the best rare drops we could have gotten. Uh, Fells Remorse to be able to play everything? I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. When you get a formless child, that's Rojo Caliente. Gonna toss some train stews. That's Rojo Caliente. <laughs> I hate myself for doing that. Uh, I've been wanting to sneak one of those in. I couldn't figure out where. Titan Sentry against Seraph the Patient is actually not a bad idea. An endless Titan Sentry is uh, really good against Seraph the Patient. But I think we kind of already mitigate the problem by having all of these like explosives that we just reform every turn. So Titan Sentry is solid because it builds Frostbite on backliners, and if it's endless, it can just die every turn, wipe out a whole floor, and apply Frostbite to Seraph. So like it's a really it's a really really good card against Seraph. Um, the problem is I don't I don't think I'm going to be hitting. Yeah, I'm not going to be hitting a Merchant of Steel for a while. Like not until down here. Uh, I'm not going to want to reform you. I need you to be endless. So like I'm banking on a lot of things here. I actually think that I don't take you. I think we're okay without you. Um, I will take the money. I will dupe something like either a formless... Oh, you're kind of expensive, though. Maybe I dupe, maybe I dupe an Entombed? Yeah, I think, I think this is the better card. Okay, so I want to toss these Frozen Lances like ASAP. Uh, the Entombed is going to be a nicer card to throw down, just kind of whenever. Uh, I would like to supercharge your scaling. That'd be really good, especially because right now you have 23 without the supercharge scaling. So the faster we can make you go, the better. Enemy units enter with spell shield. Am I worried about spell shield? Not really, right? Like maybe ice tornadoes, but I don't think that's a problem at all. We'll take it. We'll take that bet. Never tell me the odds. It's not really odds though. It's kind of just, hey, we're going to win this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fade, we'll throw you down. Uh, Formless Child, I would love for you to bring back a stronger Little Fade. So the strategy I see here is uh, Little Fade goes down, Little Fade dies. Formless Child goes down, Formless Child dies. Wickless Baron uh, absorbs their energy and becomes stronger and we get a super strong Little Fade. How's that for synergy? And then you get hasted up to the top floor. Yeah, yeah. All right, this should work exactly as I want to. Death, oh no, it's dead. Death, oh no. Back again, with the 70 damage. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. You love to see it. The combo, the combos you can pull off Little Fade are some of the most interesting in the game, in my opinion. Like, I think Little Fade's Dex and the Melting Remnant are the highest skill cap in the game, or the highest, like, potential. I will throw this down because i think i could just redo the same strategy the problem is i really want to make sure that this clip guardian is dying and i don't know that i can do that unless i have little fade attack so let's try it so we'll do this um i can play you down you will take the hit from the guardian you still only have one health which is the problem that's the problem because you haven't been reformed you've only been brought back by the child you still only have one health so maybe it's a better idea to put you behind. You will get a lot of kills behind because, it, because you have 70 damage. Or should I just do it one more time? I think, I think one more time is best. So let's throw you down. You're gonna die, but you'll deal 26 spike damage to that guy. Um, and then whenever you die, you'll bring back Fade, and then he gets all the benefits, and then we still get to buff. So then now Little Fade should have 110, and then we can have you kill the Clip Guardians just outright, uh, which is where I think you'll you'll shine, because then you have enough damage just to drop the boss. This is, doesn't really matter. None of this matters. Everything else I'm playing is just kind of whatever. Okay, so 110 damage is pretty sweet. That's going to be enough to... What the heck is happening here? What What is this? Why are, why are you all here? Why are you all so strong? I think the, I think a good idea is just to dump this Ice Tornado out of the deck. Maybe clear some of you guys out. And then we can deal with what we get after that. We did not clear... Oh, they have spell shields! What am I thinking? 
I just wasted two energy, like pretty pretty badly. Um, I will play the fade. You'll get the kill, even though you're fragile, which is fine. Who's gonna deal more damage to the pyre? I think the clip guardian's gonna deal the most damage to the pyre. So I'm actually gonna th drop you. You're only gonna get hit once by it, and then you'll die. So you'll deal nine, whereas this guardian was gonna deal like a uh, twelve plus some more. <laughs> twelve plus other stuff. All right, and then give me the child. I want to see the child. You're really just tanking at this point. Yeah. Okay. Do do. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, and then also everything just went back up. Okay. <laughs> I should have considered that I wasn't actually going to kill anything on that floor. Didn't really think that through all the way. I really need something to kill my own units, because if I could Entombed, Reformed, Entombed, I'd be able to wipe this floor. But I can't. I can't. Hmm. What is the best way to make this work? Honestly, I, if I'm just going to be concerned about the boss, to th throwing the molten encasement is the best, but I'm not. I'm also worried about the pyre damage these guys are going to do. Like, he's going to do a lot of pyre damage. So it might be a good idea to ice tornado and try to get the kill on this guardian. Like, I know it's a long shot, but I'm not going to have my wicked blaze. I think maybe this is a... Ah, this is kind of dumb. Okay. That actually severely dropped the amount of damage he's going to do to the pyre. So I'm, I'm content. That was good. I need to do the same thing here. So let's do this. You will die, which means you will die, because little fade's strong enough to to burst through. And then, yeah, we're just gonna have to ignore all the rest of it. So it's it's tricky. It's thinly balanced or very delicately balanced. Um, I don't like the way this is going, but we're at least we're at least getting kills. We're at least getting little fade some stacks. Da, 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 da. I think it makes the most sense for you both just to tank hits. What's in my deck? Nothing, so we'll put you behind. You'll at least deal 15 damage that way. And then, yeah. All right, how's it looking? Perfect, okay, so Lil' Fade has enough damage, there's enough beef in front of her to tank all those hits. And then hopefully Lil' Fade gets the kill. She does, perfect, so that's gonna be another three spikes, which is sweet because we're not exactly scaling at like a, like a hyper level, like 39 is, I've, I've done a lot better before. I've done much better before. Mortal Entrapment's pretty sweet for Seraph, actually, and we should be able to make it cheaper, so I like this card. I really like this card. Yeah, we'll do this. I don't take it very often, but when I do, I feel like I, I need to focus on it. It's the kind of, it's the kind of card that... Um, it really changes... It's very situational. It really changes the way that you would dress, like... A situate, or it really changes the way that you address the fight because you're trying to get the mortal entrapment off to daze very specific units. Um, so I think it makes a ton of sense for us to go merchant of magic so that we can upgrade a, a lot of our cards and then also to get these boons because I've taken a lot of fire damage, <laughs> a lot more than I would have liked. All right, let's make you cheap. We have to make you cheap. Uh, holdover on this would be kind of ridiculous, but. Like, I don't have enough energy to do all of the things that I'm proposing to do. Actually, scratch that. We're making this hold over. <laughs> We're going all in on it. Uh, I'm going to purge some of this junk. Like, these lances are basically, basically junk. Permafrost. Perm oh, I would have liked, I would have liked the 10 magic power, or the 10 damage. Because attuned, what is this? Yeah, mortal entrapment is, is attuned. So I could have made it deal 75 damage per turn. Double stack would have also been sweet, but I think by making it cost minus two, we're just using it for the dazed. Like, daze three every turn is awesome, because we'll just be able to daze um, Seraph like crazy. Magic power and consume. Ah, yeah, bah, bah, I guess. It's a cheap way to get it out of the deck, make it a lot less bad. Permafrost, permafrost. Now, trap shoot's honestly kind of bad. Like, I don't, I don't really need trap shoot now. Hmm. Permafrosting a molded? No, we have Wicked Blaze. Like, are we really going to be... 
worried about mold. I it's I don't think it's worth 105 gold. I think 100 gold would be much better headed towards a purge. Like, put into a purge. Okay, you are spooky. You are spooky because all of my units have very low health. So you are going to chew through me. Um, what we need to do to make this work is essentially get a bunch of health through reform and also through um, Noikos Baron scaling up and then making him very stealthy. I think we can maybe out-duel out this guy if we're stealthy. I think that's going to be where a lot of our damage comes from, or a lot of our boss damage comes from. Um, that's unfortunate that this is the short floor, but that's okay. We'll throw you down there, and you will get... No, I'm going to save you for this floor. We'll put you there. I'm going to save these guys for this floor. We'll put the Baron here, put the Baron here. You have slightly more health, so you'll go in front. And then... This is an easy play, I think. Because we'll, we'll, we'll ideally kill them before they deal any damage. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. We will put you back. Uh, we'll fade. Go ahead. Get another kill for me if you could. Thank you. And then... I know you're going to take some damage. This floor spooks me, so I think maybe Ice Tornado down there might be a good idea. Oh, no it isn't, because I really want the money. Show me the money. Let's do... Let's take the cash. I That was a risk. We can maybe play Ice Tornado on this floor if like things look really bad. I need an AoE spell. I don't have anything AoE. I have no area of effect spells. Okay. Little Fade, you're back. That's perfect. Um, if I play you there, you actually won't get the kill. Because you don't have any attack. This is an easy play, I think. Little fade here is an easy play. Because your spikes will kill all four of these guys. I think the problem now is we're not doing any damage to this guardian in the back. Which is what this thing's for. Right? Or should I just let you die and then I can reform you? Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Everything's bad. Uh, I think maybe we do this. We'll at least kill the front tank unit that way. Why are you silenced? What is your triggered ability anyway? Who knows? We'll throw you down though. We'll take care of you next turn, I guess. We'll find a way to find a way to deal with you next turn. At least that way we have him like still on the floor. Oh, we're getting so much money from this Baron. This Wickless Tycoon is fantastic. Okay, so I need to. This, this card only works if the unit's already damaged. So I need to find, like, I need, like, a glimmer or something, honestly. Uh, I need some way of dealing damage to these guys. If I had the, um, uh, the mortal entrapment or whatever, mortal death something, it's it's a melting remnant card that, what do you call it? Melting remnant. Do, 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 do. It's the card that does damage based on the amount of deaths. I don't even know where you are. Spells. Give me the spells. Where are you at? I did not want this to be that big of a thing. A Fatal Melting. If I can get a Fatal Melting, we'll be in a really good position uh, with this card. I kind of didn't really consider that this was going to be bad. <laughs> I like I dumped a ton of money into it. Uh, I should have thought that through a little bit better. That's okay. Uh, I will take a little fade. But the, the thing is, though, I would much rather these guys get stealthed than a little fade. So I'm going to throw you here, let you stealth, and then you are just going to deal some damage with your spikes and your attacks. Like, Lil Fade's going to get a ton of kills here. That's going to be really solid. Uh, you guys won't be mortal and trapped, so there's no point in playing you. I could literally kill you, which is kind of dumb. I didn't even think about the fact that I could use this on my own units. That's sweet. Permafrost here. Didn't really do much, huh? Didn't really do much of anything. Yeah, there we go. There's a lot of deaths on that floor. There was a lot of a lot of scaling that happened there. That was nice. Uh, da, 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 da. I will hold over this guy. I would rather have some more stealth on these two because I think most of our damage is going to come from this Baron, and then um, we can try to play a little fade in the back. That's that's that would be ideal anyway. 
and then I'll just kill you. How about that? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. We'll take it. Okay. 62 damage just on spikes, which is awesome. You... Take one of those. The good thing is you will die. Um, I would prefer to Wicked Blaze you next turn, so I'm going to drop this now just to get it out of the out of the way. Um, but if I burn out two and I place you in the middle, you're actually not going to get the bonus. Like, they, like they're actually going to be, that space is going to be filled and I can't play a little fade there next turn. So I would rather have Entombed Explosive 1. I will throw you right here. I probably could have played the stealth on this floor as well, and then just kind of like delayed the amount of time that we have to, to deal with this. Um, I'm gonna play you right here. You're gonna kill him. Oh. <laughs> I took away, I took away the actual hit against Lil Fade. I don't know what I've done. I don't know why I've done this. I can't believe you've done this. Burnout one. The good news is if I throw you here, at least uh, we'll kill this guy. And then now, you'll deal some damage at least. <laughs> this is chaos. This whole thing is just chaos. I don't know what order these guys should go in, so here, stealth. All right, 100 damage. Look at that. <laughs> I, there was probably an optimal way of doing it. Uh, that was not it, I'm sure. All right, this is perfect. And then we'll finally get to mortal entrapment somebody. You being dazed for three turns means you're just going to burn through three stealth. And then we'll throw you in the back. You're gonna burn out! No, you'll burn out, no. Oh no, okay. Uh, I don't actually know that I'm gonna get the kills against these guys. Um, he might end me. He might end me. Okay, so I need to do this. I'll daze you three. I should be able to get uh, quite a few hits off on you, because this is burnout five. So the burnout's gonna last long enough for me to kill you, I'm pretty certain. 313, I'll take that. Um, anything I get would be good. Yeah, cause you're gonna, you're gonna eventually kill with the attack. So let's just do that. So now you're not fragile. You're not as fragile, I guess. Um, give me, give me that now. Oh my God. Playing you first was a terrible idea. If I wouldn't have played you first, I would have been in a good situation. Uh, I did this to myself. I have done this myself. I have to deal with this seven pyre health as a as a reminder of my poor decision making. A fatal melting. We found it. All right. A fatal melting is gonna be awesome. That's gonna be really really good in this deck. Uh, it's gonna combo really nicely with our where are you at? Mortal entrapment. Don't really care about any of these guys to be honest. Yeah, we'll skip all these. Urchin Spines for the spell weakness would be kind of okay with like some of the spell weakness cards or spell damage cards we have, but uh, not really looking to bank on it for, for everything we have. Alright, toss these lances. They are bad. They are actively hurting our deck, um, especially now that we have a Fatal Melting. Multi-Strike on a Baron, perhaps? Mayhaps? You're going to be scaling. You're going to like the only scaling unit I have, so it might as well be you. Uh, I should make you stronger. I think. Yes. Yes. And then... Oh, do I reroll? I think we reroll. And can't gain armor 2 is an interesting one. Endless is interesting as well. Because if I can make you endless, or like one of you guys endless, you'll be absorbing the fragile every single turn. Hmm. So essentially, I would pick you as Endless if I think that the Baron and the Tycoon can't deal enough damage on their own uh, to, to, to chew through the front line. I would pick you as Endless if I would rather have the Baron and the Tycoon deal the damage and then keep these guys alive, which I think is the case. I think I would rather keep them alive and have them scale than, um, yeah. So I think, I think it might be a better idea to to make you endless. Uh, I will gain armor two on you just because I need something, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't it seems like I should at least upgrade you somewhat. Uh, let's do this to you. Make you have a little bit more attack, and then we'll deal this to you. Sure, now you have an encant trigger for no reason. <laughs> uh, this is such a hodgepodge deck. 
it's so weird it's like a um the frankenstein of of melted remnant decks anything anytime you get stygian as a secondary with melted remnant it's just chaos all right we have to play that well fade you should go here you will kill one of those two units death uh Wickless, you will scale off of that which is awesome and then let's just deal some damage to it do I want to descend you? Does it make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. We'll just play it. Okay, we're going to be eating a lot of purge cards until we start getting backline damage. Because we don't have any backline damage right now. Except for this. And I guess, technically, uh, the spikes. So, oh, they're both silenced because of my sigil. That's They're all silenced. Look at that. That's awesome. That was a 50% chance times three, which is, like, not normal. <laughs> Uh, I'll play you and make you fragile. I think I should eat this and just make you fragile. Um, you'll only get one kill, but that's okay. You'll only scale once. And then we'll put you in the front. I think this is worth it for the encant trigger. <laughs> this is an encant now. Encant deck now. You know what? You know what's funny? I would have had the encant bonus. If I had chosen that, this would be the only encant unit I picked up. Alright, we need to play this. Um, you getting to the top's not that big of a deal. I'm really worried about this Clip Guardian. So, if I could deal some damage to you and then daze you, that'd be cool. That'd be a nifty little combo. Um, I also would like to get my little Fade back. How about... We do this kill you you die everyone scales everyone's happy and then fade gets a kill and then also gets two kills because you're gonna hit the spikes we're not gonna get to play mortal entrapment but that's okay i should have been stacking the i should have been stacking the days on fell that'd be kind of funny to like end up with a ton of days on fell and then whenever the fight starts you just can't attack all right we'll purge that that's pretty easy endless stealth i think is another pretty simple pick Oh, Endless Stealth on you could be good as well. Or just stealthing you in general. No, because I want your spikes to deal some damage. Maybe you aren't the play. Maybe maybe this was a bad idea. Molden Encasement might not be the, the one that I should have had Endless. Do I have anything in my pile? I have not let anything die yet. So I'll play you. You will die. Um, I think this is worth a play. For the Encant. <laughs> also to get the two kills. Death. Uh, we are going to take one Burge card. Why are you doing this to me? Fel, why do you send me these cards? You know I don't want them. It, come on, Fel. I don't, I don't want your gifts. I will take this gift, though. The gift of the Fade. The gift of Little Fade dealing a bunch of damage. How's that? Death. Uh, I'll deal with you next turn with the Fade, I think. Just smacked my microphone there. You're gonna die, which will be okay, I think. Wicked Blaze will add you to it. We'll primitive Mold as well. I think this is the floor where we need to focus on, because these guys are spooky. So, you going down is good. Uh, you will kill one on your own. You'll kill two on your own, so this is perfect. This will be a good way to save you. And then, there's nothing else I can do, so I might as well get a can trigger. Uh, precarious. It's always precarious. Melting Remnant decks are just so, so tight. Like, they, they really need to be played in very specific ways. Uh, and I don't I don't love it. No, I'd rather hold you. I'd rather keep you with the, the no burnout. Easy play. You all will die. I said that, and then I chose to play you anyway, so we'll just put you there, and you'll get, you'll get a kill. And then I'm going to eat three damage, because I decided to play you instead. That was bad. <laughs> that was for literally no purpose. Okay. How are we doing against Fel? Good, not great. Uh, if I could kill you, that'd be nice, but I'm not, probably not going to be able to. I don't really have any ways of killing backliners. It is in this moment that I realize that I have weaknesses to this deck. Very, very bad weaknesses to this deck. I think we'll be okay, though, because I believe that Little Fade's going to be able to deal enough damage by herself. Yeah, 1,200. That's... It's looking good. 
You know what? Here's what we can do. We'll just play both of you. Uh, I should have played you first so that you were fragile. Because now you're not going to actually... You're actually not going to die. Neither of you are going to die. That's hilarious and unfortunate. So I'm just going to play you, but nothing will happen. I'm just going to play you as well. Nothing will happen. Oh, that's just going to be a little time bomb waiting for Fell whenever he gets up there. So we are going to take one fire damage. Wicked Blaze will bring back the Fade. And then you will tank for whatever it is that we find. Fade, you will go back there and be fragile. You will go there and not be fragile. 304 damage is pretty good. I say we could just get the kill here, but... I want to play this instead, so we'll just wait until next turn. And then, honestly, you'll just die to this guy, right? Yeah, boom. Okay. Okay. Not good. Um, it's, it's a little too close for comfort. <laughs> little too close for comfort. I don't need any of these. Intent on death would work, I think, but I don't really need it. The deck's already kind of thick. I think I think Light of Seraph would be good in this situation. We could play more tomb units on each floor. I didn't really think that through, but I think it's fine. Um, how would I like to, to move forward? Honestly, the best thing I could do is to get Fatal Melting on Holdover and maybe to purge Ice Tornadoes. Maybe to purge... Um, Lances, Purge Prone to Molds, even. Purge Trap Shoot. Yeah. So I think I think that's the best thing I could do. Cause then we can because we can kind of like deal with Seraph with the fade, I think. Um, but I don't think that we can deal with Seraph with or I don't think we can deal with the backliners consistently. Like we're letting a lot of really weak backliners slip through. So whenever it starts coming to the strong backliners, like I'm gonna be an even more of a problem. Okay. Sure, Bone Dog, I'll take you. <laughs> Why not? Uh, that's awesome. That's a really solid benefit to this deck. If I can get Permafrost on you, that'd be great. Okay, so I will hold over Fatal Melting. I think you're strong. You're very strong. Um, if I can make you cheaper, that'd be even better. Now you're just like always worth playing. I will re-roll or Magic Power. Nah, plus 10 damage? That doesn't make any sense. Because three times the number of friendly units deaths, I just need you to deal like five damage. So if two people die, you're worth it. Um, so I actually don't need that. I will reroll and then double stack. Oh no, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to double stack you. I'd rather double stack like Mortal Entrapment or something. That's kind of unfortunate. If I made you free, maybe it's better. Like, one of these cards should probably be free. One of these three holdover cards that I have should probably be free. Uh, maybe I should have gone for draw, actually, in hindsight. Because I have so many holdover cards now. So what upgrades could I realistically put on you? It's basically just this. Um, I could put other stuff on you, but really it's, it's just this as well, because I don't think the 10 damage is worth it. Um, and then you're already full. So... Magic power is only going to go on this guy. Let's just put it on you. Let's put it on... Or put it on you. You're the cheaper one. We'll use you. Use you as the, uh, as the one we play more often. Um, and then I'm going to... Wicked Blaze, because I think we're probably going to play it more often. I don't... We're probably going to play both of them, but, like, same concept. It really doesn't matter that much. This makes you much better for very cheap... So I might as well do it. And then now I'm out of money. I was thinking this was the Seraph fight. <laughs> I was prepping for the Seraph fight. Uh, I've been psyching myself up this whole time. All right, we need to get you um, scaling a lot more because 99 spikes is strong, but it's not strong enough just yet. Spell Shield 2 is going to block Fatal Melting, so I'm actually not going to take this. Especially because we can get a bunch of money through the collectors anyway, so it's not like we're in a bad spot. Okay, moment of truth. You go here. Uh, Sigiled Seaweed is going to be really nice against these guys, by the way. This is nice. This is nice. And then we will encant and give you some armor. <laughs> I love that that's like in the deck. 
for almost no reason. If I could have permafrost bone dogs, that would have been really sweet as well. But, you know, obviously not, not an option. Are you going to die? You will. If you die, the, my problem is I'm, I'm really concerned about this Gilded Wing because I'm going to kill it in four hits. It's going to deal 40 damage to me. So I'm actually going to focus on this and then put a little fade behind. You'll burn out one, so I'm not going to have any problems with you being like stranded here. So I'm going to do this and then this. And that will deal enough damage not to kill you, but pretty close. Actually, yeah. Okay, now you'll die. Honestly, you'll just die to the entombed explosive. So Little Fade's not doing anything here. Maybe killing the collector. Yeah, that was that was kind of weak, but you know whatever. Um, Fatal melting. You are holdover, which means I need to start playing you. Playing you here will hurt him. Uh, I would like to have my fade back. I will consume this guy. Get him out of the deck. One mold. So many free units makes like the math behind metal, me uh, behind melting remnant just very awkward. You being fragile is a weird situation because you're not really tanking at this point. Like you're you're basically just a you're basically just a two cost um, chump block, like a minion, like a morsel at this point. So I would rather have Fade able to kill this guy. And the only way I can do that is by blocking with you. No. How about that? Now at least you'll get the kill. Okay, so you got the kill through spikes, which I, I'm gonna be honest, I did not do the math for you to get the kill through spikes, but you know, if it works, it works. Uh, molting encasement needs to go down low. Needs to be fragile as well. Dazed four seems like a good idea for you. since you're spooky and then I could fatal melting this whole floor oh but would it kill you because these guys oh no only you were doing damage because these two were silenced oh it's perfect it's perfect okay so this this setup's gonna work really nicely it's gonna be kind of dumb though I will trap shoot you I will fatal melting uh, I will mortal entrapment to, to make you dazed even more. So four, like I'm not going to have to worry about you for the rest of the fight, basically. Or is it best just to lance? Since you were technically like 10 damage to my pyre. No, I want this holdover. I want the, I want to play that next turn on this guy. Or something equivalent. Because with that card, we can let our pyre do a ton of the damage. Which is kind of weird, but it works. I need reform. Where is my reform? <laughs> why? <laughs> why do I have no reform? I guess I've I guess I've been playing too many cards, or too many holdover cards to get all my reform back. That's an easy play. That's gonna keep you alive. Um, you have so much dazed that you'll have five dazed. You'll have four dazed, and will he kill you in four? He will, which is perfect. So I will do the same to you, and then I'm just gonna kill all these guys. It's looking good. It's looking good. Um, I was a little concerned about these two big bruisers coming through, but uh, the dazed means that like he's just they're all just going to walk up there and just get wipe, wiped. I really could use my Wicked Blaze back, though. I'm in a very bad situation. Okay, Wickless Tycoon. Get, to, get, get out of here. I don't want you in this deck. I'm actually, I've actually decided the Wickless Tycoon needs to kind of go. That's going to be good. Um, this is going to be fine. I don't have enough energy to play both of you. That was dumb. Oh no. Uh, da, da, da. I need to play it on you, I think. What's four times 40? 160? You will die? Okay. They're both dazed. There's everyone up here is dazed. There's nothing that can happen up here. That's what I was hoping for. I was still a little bit nervous. Even though I knew what would happen, I was still very... 1,180. <laughs> How is that happening? Because of the stealth? How... How are you dealing that much damage by yourself? 
I don't know. I don't really mind, though, to be honest with you. Uh, I just need to make sure that... You haven't taken any damage yet, of course. Uh, I just really need to make sure that Fade gets in here so that Fade can scale a little bit because it's kind of like the last chance for scaling. Um, so if I throw you here, you will get one kill. If I throw you here, you'll be fragile. And you won't get any kills. So let's do this. Let's do this. Fragile, this guy. You'll die. Then we play the Fade. Fade will get two kills through spikes, and then I think some extra damage as well. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. That's that's all I need. I just wanted to make sure that Fade got as many kills as possible. So I think Fade should get two kills here. Yeah, through the spikes. Which would be two more scales, which I think is like, ends up being a big chunk of damage. Ends up being, uh, what? Four damage? Eight damage? So, I'll take it. Kind of already got all these cards. Kinda don't need these. We'll take it. We're, we're running a little short on reform, um, and that is cheap free reform, so why not? Don't want any of these. It's way too late to be investing in the encant stack, the offering stack. That was a, that's a that's not what you're looking for at this late in the round. Okay, coming up on Seraph. What am I struggling with? I am struggling to play the car. I'm struggling to get the reform I need. I'm struggling to clear backliners. Although I think we kind of solved that situation. Um, I also think that I need to maybe toss the wickless tycoon uh unfortunately and then potentially get like a lance out of here maybe a form no a formless child could be really strong if we can find the right scenarios having the extinguished triggers go twice in the merchant of trinket shop could be incredibly powerful uh we also could potentially give him some more damage in the merchant of steel but i don't think that that's that strong i think this is the way to go so we'll do this. I'm going to toss this Lance. I'm going to toss one of the random reforms, I think. No, we'll toss you. We'll toss the Wickless Tycoon. He's kind of bad. Like, let's be honest. He's kind of bad. <gasps> I have a better idea. Let's just dupe the other Tycoon, since he's much stronger at this point. We have to. That's going to save us so much health. <laughs> We're going to be topped off. That'll be fantastic. Okay. Uh, yes. Please win the game for me. Plus, I'll, I'll guild Bone Dog. I'll finally get the guild on it. It's gonna be real nice. You being zero makes you an autoplay. Uh, I think this is worth it to make this card better. No. I'd rather just reroll and spend all the cash. I don't need another holdover. <laughs> we don't need more holdovers. We're fine. Uh, that's better, I guess. Fine. It gives us more options. Yeah, that, that gives us more options. So many upgrades. I, I've probably used them in like a really weak way, um, but there are so many upgrades that I've, I've put through this deck. Uh, duplicating you is going to be really, really strong, I think, because that will essentially make our backline able to clean out... Um, able to clean out any units that pop up and they're gonna scale like crazy okay i'm glad i i wish i would have checked this before spending all my money but like honestly none of these are that great so it kind of worked out but i didn't know that it's one of those like quantum principles where it's not bad until you look at it <laughs> and uh i probably just shouldn't have looked because <laughs> it could have been good as well schrodinger's store schrodinger's storefront <laughs> uh little fade you should go here we're going to be scaling Seraph the Patient up like crazy, but I think the other point is we're just going to trap shoot you and keep you dazed most of the game, so ideally you'll be so dazed you won't get to actually like do anything. So I will play... Let's just do this first, so that we don't scale you up. Right? Uh, Is it best to play my units up top, where if... If Seraph like dumps a unit up here, then that way I can, I can, uh, I can actually like get the kill on it. I think so. I think it might be best to play the Barons up top. So let's do, let's do this to start. 
that's gonna that's gonna make Seraph days for enough turns that we'll be like we'll be able to do other things in the meantime. Uh, Little Fade should get a kill with the spikes, so I'm gonna put you there. You'll get a kill, and we'll put you in the reform pile, and then you are just gonna be business as usual. Honestly, what do you get? One. Wait, where are you at? Uh, you get one damage. I could kill you for one damage. Uh, that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. So we'll just we'll just hold off for now. Um, I wish that Seraph was silenced. That would have been insane if we had managed to get the fifty percent proc against Seraph. I don't know if that is likely. I don't know how how likely that is to happen, but um, that would have been nice. Okay, so here's where the melee weakness. Is. We're just going to overcome it through reform and entombed explosives and whatnot. Uh, you are dazed, so you can't actually attack. So all of that damage has come from this light wing. You're going to die because of the Baron's attack. I need to scale you somehow, so I think the best way to do that is to toss the Fade down low. Or we could get two kills with the Fade. Or we could try to get some sort of wonky Fade Formless Child shenanigans going. I think wonky fade formless child shenanigans are in order. I think it's time to do so. So let's toss you down here. Yes. Let's toss you let's toss you down here. And then I need Fade to die first and get the kill. So Fade's gonna come back. Um, you're gonna be okay. I can actually put this Baron here to block and he won't be fragile because we've already blown the fart fragile so i'll play you down yeah the three attacks a little unfavorable but that's okay and then you guys are both gonna scale and double scale as well because you both have multi-strike all right fade you are now a machine 172 is insane i think if you die and then we reform you on this floor, you're gonna be even stronger. So let's do this. You die, that's okay. You will tank the hit. He has fragile, or he has melee weakness, but that's okay. Um, you will tank the hit. You're just gonna die. Ice Tornado, I don't really wanna play it down here. I really could use my holdover cards. I don't have any of them played yet. And then I don't wanna play either of these. I'm just gonna hold on to them. We'll heal the five. Like, we're gonna have a lot of permafrost cards in hand, but we're still not going to hit the ten cards per turn because we don't have any draw in this deck. Okay, so this is perfect. I can now play my absurdly strong little fade. I can also stealth these boys, which might be the better play. Yeah, this is the best play. We'll stealth these guys, they'll stay alive. Fatal Melting is going to be good for wiping out backliners from here on out. Um, Bade, you are going to burn out in one, but you could kill this guy by yourself. So how about we do something like this? It had to be... I forget, I forget that I have this Formless Child in here. You're actually going to reform the Molten Encasement like super strong, but that's okay. So we'll dump you, then Fade get the kill. Fade won't get the kill because you have a double strike. All right, well, you know what? How about this? Now you're dead. How's that? Now you're dead. Wicked Blaze is just for the uh, holdover. We'll get it next turn, and then Molded doesn't really matter. So let's just play this down low. And it'll consume as well. Ah, it's so nice. Thank you, Bone Dog. How nice of you to heal me after every turn. This card's so good. It's just so good. Which, I mean, I know it's incredibly rare for a reason, and it's, like, buried behind a, um, buried behind an event on purpose, but it's just, it's just very nice. It's just a very good card. Wicked Blaze to bring back our little Fade Boy. The problem now is Seraph's actually no longer dazed because Mortal Entrapment's been sitting there for so long. Which I, so I haven't been able to stack any of the days that I've been wanting to. We should at least get, like, 12 off, though. Fade, if you could get a kill for me, that'd be fantastic. If you get a couple kills for me, that'd be great. 
Um, encasement. Fade, I think. One, two, three. I need a way to like block for fade, essentially. Uh, so I'm okay with you taking that hit, you taking the next hit, and then you would actually kill fade, which is the problem. No, I could just drop you. Okay, we'll do this. Drop you, play Fade. Fade should get 235 damage off on somebody. No, you're not going to get any damage off because Seraph gets to attack this round because you're no longer dazed. How could I forget? Okay, so in that case, then this is, this is worth a play because then... Don't you get to attack? No? You're just gonna kill this guy? Alright, well, you know, whatever. The math is so ridiculous. I... my brain is fried. Gotta love it, though. Alright, you get the day's treatment. This is happening every single round from here on out. That's a pretty easy play. We need to play this. I will bring back my Entombed, I think. I think you're stronger than the other one right now. I'll just play you both. Why not both? Porque no los dos. If I play you behind, you will actually take care of Fade for me. If I play you down low, you'll deal 50 damage. This is an easy play, I think. Oh, you're not dying! <laughs> Why? Why? Because you're tanking the hits and there's no one in the back. Ah, whatever. Every time. Every time. They should, they should, play, they should play this game in like algebra classes. Little Fade had three damage and there were six gilded wings. If Little Fade is reformed, but also has one burnout, how much damage will the gilded wing take? That'd be super Rojo Caliente. I will toss Wicked Blaze out there, because I want to bring back Little Fade. Uh, but now that we only have one, late, one wave remaining, and everyone's going to live, and these guys are going to get more stealth, I think we're probably in a good spot. If you die and then you bring back Fade, that's perfect. So I want Fade to be fragile. Yeah, that's per That's like the perfect situation. I don't actually want to play Melting here. I will play it down here, especially because there's a tank down here. And then what are you? Yeah, you're an explosive, you're fine. I always just play those cards with no idea what's coming next. <laughs> it's just like total chaos. I've done almost no damage to Sarah, but I have the belief that we can get a ton of damage out with our uh, with, the, with them being dazed and then with Little Fade being at like a stupid high amount of health and then putting him in the back. So I want this because I want to stealth these guys up. Uh, this has to get played. You need to be as dazed as possible. Just dazed and confused. Um, I think it's time to consume. No, time to do this. Boom. Formless Child. Will any floor deal 21 damage to you? Only this one will. I know you'll just reform the Molten Engagement, but whatever, whatever. It's fine. How can I get Formless Child to, to Little Fade? If I let you die up here, but the problem is I don't think you'll die, 10, 15, then this thing won't die? I think I would rather this thing die to stack the stealth. Let's just see what it brings back. We'll just we'll just see what happens. Just total throw caution to the wind kind of thing. So, Fade, you need to be here to deal some damage. Uh, you will not be fragile because we've already taken care of the fragile. And then honestly, Formless Child, you are going to go in the back just to bring back like one of these three units. I think that makes sense. I also think it makes sense to kill this middle floor. Yeah, I like that the most. We'll consume this guy, get it out of the deck. Okay, Bone Dog, you've just been slowly being the MVP of this whole round for whenever Seraph crunches on my pyre. Crunches. All right, this is what you like to see. Everyone's stealthed up. Uh, they're gonna do a ton of damage. They're really, really strong. We're gonna apply more stealth. I'm going to apply more dazed and I'm gonna bring back little fade 
317, you're a, you're insane. You're actually insane. Oh, I should be playing these up here to not scale our Sarah. We're actually gonna run into Burnout as a limitation, which I was not expecting. Uh, but I think Burnout is actually going to be the, kind of like the, the point here. This doesn't really matter, to be honest, but it is going to be a bunch of damage next turn as well. Um, so I'm just going to play it down here, I think. I think we have to play it, just to keep it in our hand. What order should these three things go into? So I think the best order is whatever gives Fade the most burnout, uh, which means not being brought back by the Formless Child. So I would like the Formless Child to die, and to bring back something, but I don't want it to be Little Fate. Because I want I want whatever you bring back to be uh, boosted damage. Like if we had like 100 damage Entombed Explosive, we could put it in the back over here or something like that. So... So it might be a good idea to dump Fade in the back. Uh, did you take the Fragile from this turn? I think you did. It'd be a good idea to put Fade in the back to put Formless Child in front of Fade no matter what, and then you can tank. You're not gonna tank anything, he's dazed. <laughs> Forgot about that, tiny little detail. 1400 damage by yourself, you're insane. Mmm, Formless Child is gonna die to burnout. Or Formless Child is going to, uh... I think it's fine, I think this will be okay. I, I'm pretty certain that if we could deal 1400 damage from literally just a little fade wailing on Seraph, that we can deal that much damage from these guys. This whole set. Yeah, 748 before we even drop the 357 little fade in there. I think we'll be okay. How's that for some days? Uh, we'll throw here, this here per usual, and then fade, you get in the back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're dead. Here, take an ice tornado. I can't even play the bone dog. I want to play the bone dog just for, just for meme's sake. Good stuff. So that was the Fragile Collection. Um, go ahead and jump in to the weekly, the weekly challenge that we've set up, the community challenge. I'll be running that next week. Uh, thank you very much for making it this far and enjoy your holidays. Uh, I hope that your break is good. I hope that you get a break. If you are an essential worker or you're working in a position where you don't get a break, um, I hope you enjoy your holidays nonetheless and that everything is good to you and your family. And uh, yeah, thank you for making it through this entirely long rambling meandering math filled melting remnant misery deck <laughs> we got a bone dog though i'll see you in the next one